Next question is from DRJJ. I'm learning how to properly breathe while, when lifting, but I get distracted when I concentrate on my breathing and it messes up my form. Any advice on how to do both without messing up one or the other, since both are very important? I just I just had somebody DM me. So whoever picked this was a great question to pick because um, I get this a lot. And I'm curious if you guys are on the same page as I am. Uh, I used to say this to client. The most important part about breathing is that you do it. Yeah. You know, like literally, like yeah. there, there, there's a lot of uh, a lot of people that like want to make the case for, you know, when you breathe in, when you exhale for optimal performance and what's ideal for bracing your core and what blah, 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 blah. The truth is that if you manipulate tempos, and you do a, a negative sometimes that's five, six, seven seconds long or isometric holds, that's going to throw off the cadence of breathing. And really the, the the primary thing that you need to focus on is that you do breathe and you don't hold your breath. So the most dangerous part of of the breathing that you could where you could go wrong is holding your breath while you're doing heavy weight and passing out, right? That's really it. Yeah, I, I you know, focusing on your breathing is something that I do later on when I'm training a client because here's what you're doing. If you're starting to work out, you're a beginner, intermediate, maybe even in the beginning of advanced, you're focusing on your technique, your form, the squeeze, the last thing you want to do is throw something that's an automatic thing for you, like breathing. It's like thinking about blinking while you're working out. Make sure yeah. you blink this many times. in between. Like all of a sudden I'm throwing things in at myself and confusing myself. I would tell clients, just breathe normally. Yes. Don't hold your breath. Yeah. Breathe naturally. Later on when they became more advanced, we're doing heavy lifting. Right. It became more important. Like if I'm teaching a client how to do a max squat, a max set, that's yeah. when I'm teaching them. Breathe in, brace, hold your breath, breathe out on the way up. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, totally breathe normal, or I'll remind someone to breathe. Sometimes clients will stop while they're doing a set. Oh, yeah. I'll be like, hey, don't forget to breathe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's what I experienced the most was just to remind them, oh, breathe. <gasps> oh, yeah. yeah because, breathe. Hold the breath. Yeah, because then they start getting dizzy, lightheaded, like as a result, because they're not listening to their body. Your body, like, it has a natural ability to know, like, okay, if I'm under stress, like, I'm going to kind of. Uh, brace up. I'm going to brace to, to to be able to handle this load. And it, it's just a matter of like, I have to still breathe during that process. So like, you just have to kind of uh, do what comes naturally to you because if it's unnatural and you have to think about it, like there's more going to be more interruptions that happen, which is going to throw everything yeah, off. Yeah. If you're really focusing on your breathing, then uh, you should not be doing challenging. If you, if this is something you want to work on, for example, then do it with yeah. lighter weights and stuff that's not super it's great challenging. Great to do in the beginning of your journey. Yeah, don't throw like I got to focus on my breathing and do this really ch challenging exercise because it tends to be too many variables at once and the person screws one or the other up. So if I am doing breathing training with someone, it's light or not at all. We're just focusing on how to breathe, how to do diaphragmatic breaths. Uh, but it's not really something that I, I think you should. And this is exactly the question is exactly what ends up happening. I get distracted and it messes up my form. Exactly. That's that's what happens all the time. Yeah.